ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ బండికట్ల వెంకటరత్నం ఐఎమ్ ప్రాక్టీసింగ్ ప్లాస్టిక్ సర్జరీ ఫర్ ఓవర్ ఎ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ వైల్ డూయింగ్ ఫైన్ సర్జరీస్ ఆన్ డెలికేట్ టిష్యూస్ ఐ ఫైండ్ ఇట్ డిఫికల్ట్ టు హ్యావ్ ఫుల్ కంట్రోల్ ఓవర్ ద సూచరింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎక్సెస్ లెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ ద అవైలబుల్ లీడిల్ హోల్డర్స్ హెన్స్ ఐ డిజైన్డ్ small needle holders which can fit into my palm and then in turn my hand can rest on a stable surface within the surgical field there are two models type 1 and type 2 both of them are of 90 mm length and are coated with special silver to increase the longevity of the instrument the type 2 needle holder incorporates a scissors into its design one of the blades of the scissors has got teeth to catch the suture materials while the other blade comes and cuts the suture material now let us see how to use it the needle holder entirely fits into our palm the ring finger is to be put in the ring of the needle holder and it stays in its ring throughout the process the middle ring and little fingers encircle the base of the needle holder or both the rings together the pulps of the thumb and index finger can reach the tip when required then the whole hand can be supported on a stable surface adjacent to the body part or the wound being sutured that gives wonderful unparalleled control for the suturing process the lower picture is simulation of suturing with the available small needle holders on the market they will not allow fingers to reach the target tissues in comparison in the upper figure the hand can rest in the surgical field and the finger and thumb can reach the target tissues and maneuvering by the needle holder will be excellent and the result will be dependable and fine these needle holders are meant for usage while doing fine surgeries on delicate tissues where 60 or 70 suture materials are used for example in aesthetic category blepharoplasty rhinoplasty artoplasty areolar suturing umbilicoplasty etc on the other hand in the reconstructive surgeries especially on face in case of trauma or tumor excisions etc and finger flaps especially in the children tendon surgeries nerve surgeries fine surgeries on body surfaces etc this is a case of crush injured finger in a child see the control and precision which can be had while using this needle holder to repair the injured finger this is a case of gynecomastia own closure the requirement here is the precision control over the suture line to get as invisible scar as possible see the index finger is resting on the body adjacent to the wound giving excellent support to the needle holder and the suturing process this child had sustained an injury over his face close to his eye this could be one of the best examples for the control required while maneuvering the needle over the face you can see the index finger of the suturing hand is supporting on the patient's nose this type of support eliminates unwanted and risky movements of the needle and needle holder tip around the eye the result will be 
the best possible control over the suturing process and safety of the tissues being sutured as well as the important structures around the wound. This is a close-up view of the type 2 needle holder with the teeth on one of its jaw holding and stabilizing the suture material while the other jaw cuts the suture material. Now let us see some of the videographs in which the needle holders are being used. The needle holder fits into the palm. Ring finger is in the ring of the needle holder. Hand is taking support on a stable surface in the surgical field. The point of needle penetration, force, direction and curve of the needle path are precisely controlled. At all points of time, some part of the hand is supported on a stable surface. Index finger protects the part while the needle holder is being released. It adds extra safety to the tissues being sutured. A case of type 3 gynecomastia after donut deepithelialization and periareolar per-string suture application. A larger circle of chest skin and a smaller circle of pigmented areolar skin are being joined together. Less tissue is to be included in the bite on the side of the areola and more tissue is to be included from the skin side. The line of approximation is to be precise to have as invisible scar as possible as a final result. A case of fingertip injury in a child. A proximally based flap is being sutured back to its stump using type 2 needle holder this time. My hand rests on a stable surface in the surgical field whenever the support is required. Please note that my index finger supports the delicate flap tissues and guides the needle with the precision. The assistant's job is to hold the part stable till the end. I myself shall cut the suture material. The needle should not cut through the flap at any cost. Thank you.